Hey y'all, so um, I just have a quick announcement to make. Um, please don't email me at any other inboxes uh, for, for readings except for Brie at the StarfireAlchemist.com. Don't email, don't DM me, okay? Don't get in my Starfire Alchemy email, okay, for my channel. Don't get in my metaphysical email for my channel. Don't go in any other inbox except for the channel email that, excuse me, the business email that's in my description box, Brie at the StarfireAlchemist.com. Because a lot of y'all that want to come to me for readings, people have hacked y'all's uh, y'all's accounts, and people are emailing me pretending to be y'all and it ain't y'all, or allegedly pretending to be y'all and it ain't y'all because they're hacking your shit because they don't want you to come to me, or they've found your password or you're using weak ass passwords. Y'all need to learn. A lot of y'all need to learn how to create stronger passwords. Get you some dim index cards if you need to. Write your passwords down and put them in a secure place. Don't store your passwords only in your phone. Don't create weak ass passwords like this weekend 88. That's a weak password. People are hacking y'all shit, especially young divine feminines, all divine feminines, women that need um, spiritual upliftment, women that need healing, women that need spell broke off of them women that need curses broke off of them women that need to find out what's going on in their ancestral line and their lifeline okay their bloodline that have held them back and all of the matriarchs and the sibyls and the oracles and the gifted women in their line okay they don't want you coming to somebody like me because i'll set you free if i can so i had someone book a consult now this person talking about they didn't email me twice well who was emailing from your account then or is that a, is that your account because if it ain't your account, then you've been hacked. Somebody got your password if it's not your shit. And if it ain't your shit, somebody's posing as you. But I can't do nothing about that. Because the fact of the matter is, y'all need to stop using all these different ways to contact me. That's why I'm putting this out now. And I know y'all didn't know before, I'm not mad at anybody. I'm just concerned. And when I get concerned, I get a little bit heated, baby. That's it. I get concerned because I'm like, this has been happening a lot. Young woman came to me in July for a reading. You know, um, they were hiding her e her emails in my inbox. I literally logged in, y'all. I logged in. Y'all know I got good goddamn sense. Well, some of y'all like, well, we don't know that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Little joke in there. I have good sense. Okay. I've had a psyche veil at one of the top universities in the world, Duke, Duke University. Okay. By the head of psychiatry, you know, cleared me. I'm very precise with the things I do. Yes, I make mistakes. But if I see something disappear, I know the shit disappeared. Yo, I got 2015 vision. My G, my God, my goddess. I got 2015 vision when I got my contacts in. I got 2020 with my glasses on, baby. I ain't blind. I ain't tripping. I logged in this queen, this young empress. I logged in, saw her email at the top of the list for newest emails. That shit disappeared before my fucking eyes, yo. I've told y'all about the gang stalking and hacking and shit. Now, I'm going to tell you, I'm pretty good with my tech game. I'm not, you know, I'm not, you know, motherfucking Steve Jobs. <laughs> I'm not Bill Gates. But I am pretty good with keeping my shit together. Meaning, I know how to create secure passwords. I know how to use internet security apps. I know how to do password storage and, and all of that to where I can keep my stuff together as much as possible. All right. I know how to change my passwords regularly so that, you know, there's not redundancy. You know, I know how to create combos that are very hard to crack. And so I've had to teach myself this over the years. I know how to use VPNs, virtual private networks, um, secure browsers. I know the difference between a secure website and an unsecure website. Vice versa. I know when somebody's email, you know, has been in my inbox and it disappears before my eyes. I know that when I've emailed somebody and they said they never heard, they, that usually doesn't happen where I email somebody and they don't get it. Usually what was happening like uh, back in March and April a lot when I was dealing with the gang stalking and the targeting of me by um, satanic tarot readers on YouTube and other powers that um, 
a very dark and nefarious and stalked me and other readers and attacked me and other readers what was happening back then was people were coming to me for readings and when they would email me I wouldn't get their correspondence so again it'd be like the shit disappear in my inbox or they would email me and I wouldn't get the shit till hours or a day after so there was a couple of times where I emailed some clients back and they didn't see my email until eight hours 10 hours 12 hours after the fact like they it should have been there and it wasn't there so I had to resend it from multiple inboxes so I just wanted to tell y'all if you have a reading or you want a reading if you have a reading schedule and you got questions or you want to add some details or commentary criticism um whatever email me at my email in the box of my videos which is brie at the starfirealchemist.com that adds an extra layer of security why because it's going through my web host who handles my website and i do have a secure business website okay you have to agree to cookies, either yes or no, and then it's a secure website. It's a HTTPS secure website, the StarfireAlchemist.com, and then it's routed through my web host, which adds an extra layer of security because I have to log into the website that hosts my website and my email separately. So it's almost like you got to go through two entities to get in that email. But I have had some problems. Like I said, her shit disappeared that young empress now i'm gonna be be clear and honest with you when we talking about high level gang stalking like what i undergo and others undergo they can get into anything you can make the most secure password and they'll, if they want to get in it they'll get in it because these are government agencies that pay people to do this stuff okay these are um nefarious cia uh, pawns and fbi pawns and, and stuff like that now the CIA, the FBI, the NSA and them don't have a problem with me. But there are people that we know have been hearing about a lot of gang stalking of especially uh, brown and black tarot readers and spiritualists, occultists, women with high level gifts, women that they have figured out are seers and oracles. Okay. They've been using them in rituals or trying to use their energies in rituals, trying to set them up for sacrifices, their own families, our own families have been caught up in foolishness. That's going on. So I just wanted to say, if you need a reading, you email me at Brie at the starfirealchemist.com or you go to my website. I'm not going to book nothing for you unless you go on that website. You have to book on my website. There's no other way to book a reading with me except for on my website unless you are a personal friend that I know in real life even then you still need to go on that website because I keep up with my fiscal tracking okay I keep accounting ledgers and all of that I still want it through the website the reason why is because that's security for you I don't want you coming in my DMs trying to book a reading because them DMs ain't fucking secure I've had problems with the DMs too I don't even check them DMs like that I don't want you coming in my inbox talking about you know, like my Gmail, like people somehow get into my Gmail, which I know it's not hard, but people somehow get into my Gmail for my Starfire Alchemist channel. And I'm like, how the fuck did you get in here? I mean, I know it's not hard, but still, if you want to book a reading, you need to go to my website. That's why I created a website and I pay for it every month. <laughs> so I bought the domain. That's why I spent time building it. And that's why I pay every month. For web hosting and for my product which is my domain my page and all that my email my business my microsoft office all of that i pay for that shit every month so i don't book any readings outside of my website you have to book on the website okay and then as far as payment you can choose to create an account or sign up for emails and then you can choose to check out on a, a website through paypal or I'll just, uh, you can just wait, you know, uh, a little bit for me to send you your confirmation email. You will get an automatic order confirmation email automatically generated through the web host. It says your order confirmation number, tells you your appointment time and all of that, the name of the session or the service. And then I will also send you a manual as an extra step, as an extra security. I send you one from me personally. 
with links included so you can if you want to use cash app you can use cash app venmo western union pay um samsung pay google pay but i usually include three main links paypal venmo and cash app if anyone needs additional then they just let me know when they reply back to the email then when you do your payment I mark it paid on my website because I have to manually do that unless now if you pay through PayPal on the website like if you check out on the website then it will automatically save when you pay it's tied together but if you pay through cash app or Venmo or another service I have to go in and mark it paid and then what happens is I send you a payment receipt or I'll just sometimes if I don't send you the payment transac transaction ID number like I'll put the date or the time the amount and then um, I'll put your transaction ID number or um, authorized clearinghouse or ACH number and that way you know that I really got the payment because I'm the only person that will be able to give you that transaction ID number because I'm the only person who has access to my PayPal's all my accounts don't there's nobody else on my accounts I don't I have multiple accounts okay Nobody else is on my accounts, not an ex-husband, not a cousin, not a mama, not a daddy, not a child, okay, not an auntie. I am sole owner of all my accounts and sole operator, and I'm the only person that goes in and out of there, okay? All emails, all uh, banking accounts or transaction accounts, um, social media accounts, I'm the only one that can get in and out of there with the password. However, like I said, gang stalkers that are tied in with government agencies can get into anything all right but i just wanted you to know there's no secondary party other there's no secondary human that i let go into my accounts if they're going if they're able to go in that's some gang stalking shit on a government level that i can't fuck with i ain't got nothing to do with that i, I can't help that and we know it's possible because they can get into anything they 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 tap into my microphones they listen when I when I upload private readings, they can listen to y'all's readings. They go in and watch y'all's readings and it won't even reflect in the views. You think you think you're the only person that can see that. Oh no, baby. See, this shit is deep and it's nasty and it's convoluted. They see and watch everything and listen to everything. I have heard people on YouTube who I know are agents, who I know hack. Now, be clear, I don't have a problem with all hackers. If you ain't fucking up my shit, I ain't got no problem with you. Um, but I know people who are agents and who are hackers who I have caught singing songs and saying words that was in a private reading that was unlisted private on my channel. That means they went in and they watched it. They either listened to me record it and watched me record it through my phone because I have an Android phone or they went in and they watched it once I posted it to the channel. Once I uploaded it, even though it's a private video or unlisted and only the client that I or the person that I share the link with can see it, they've already been able to watch it. They can watch this shit, y'all. There's no way for me to deliver you a reading that nobody else can see unless we person to person and you in here with me at my house. Even then, I would have to turn off all devices, but still, it's possible for them to listen. But as far as a reading being watched by somebody else, if it's electronic, it's possible that somebody else can see that um, uh, that's a, that's got access to Google Analytics, that's got access to YouTube or whatever. So, you know, these people have a lot of tech ties, these gang stalkers, and or they have people in high places or they have hacker friends that can go in and look at stuff, private archives, private photos, private videos, um, go in and look at your text messages and read your text go in and look at your purchases on Amazon, go in and look at your eBay stuff. They can do all of that, y'all. It's just best to keep that in mind. But I just wanted to let y'all know, if you have a question about a reading, please email me at brie at the starfirealchemist.com. No other emails about readings. Okay, other emails that, uh, you know, people have been using before, that's just for general uh, small talk. But... Um, as far as a reading, I'm not going to entertain it unless it's coming in my business email. And the reason why is because all of my inboxes I've noticed problems and discrepancies with. And it's not a situation where I need to keep switching inboxes. 
there's only one inbox that I have that I have not noticed problems with. But all the other ones that have at least been circulated once on YouTube or on my social media, I've noticed some issue with where, and, and it ain't about pass, changing a password or, or changing the account. This is what they do. They follow people like me, okay? They look um, into our stuff and they hack our stuff and they are nosy as fuck, okay? Because they want to know what we know. There was a reading that came out um, yesterday um, by a reader that said that, um, and it was a Scorpio reading, it was for me. A lot of her readings are for me. And, um, you know, I know a little bit more extra that I'm not going to talk about. But um, she said that the government listens to me through my microphone because they, they want to know how I know what I know. They want to know how you know what you know. Murder, she wrote. <laughs> yeah. She said that in her reading. She said, the government, the CIA, the FBI, them, they listen to you through your microphone on your phone talking to me. Because they want they can't believe, they're like shocked that you know what you know. They want to know how you know what you know, but they don't only want to know how you know what you know. They want to know how your fucking mind works. They literally want to know how your brain works and how you process information. And she tell she said she said some of you are geniuses, but you're a savant. Talking to me. By the way, all her readings that she posted were for prominent placements in my chart. So see, I know the I know some of the readers who are agents too. I know a lot of people who are agents. Some of them don't know they're agents. Some of them do. I know a lot of people who are Freemasons. Some of them know they are. Some of them aren't. But. She said that. She said, yeah, they, they listen through your microphone because they can't believe that. Um, I, I know this. I told y'all. I've been telling y'all for a couple of years now, well, I guess for a little over a year and a half now, about the gang stalking and about them listening in. All right? Now, them listening and monitoring is not the same as gang stalking. There are separate gang stalkers that say what they want to say and do what they want to do but even they have handlers okay that's the reason behind the recent smear campaign i underwent on youtube but um if you have any desire to book a reading and you want to ask me about a session like what it entails and like whether your particular concern can be answered with a particular session or what reading would fit what you want to know best that's fine but email me at my website email don't email me through gmail gmail is a fucking problem not only do not only is it very compromised and easy to hack they save your emails they archive now microsoft does too but i'm gonna just say this i sh i'm restricting my emails for a reason i'm only providing one account from now on for people to email me about business or readings for through because of the problems that i've undergone with people getting in my inbox with stupidity um people stalking me and being obsessed with me to the point of writing down my natal chart placements okay people pretending to be clients that want to come to me hacking the clients phones hacking the clients computers and files you know tracking the client listening to me watching the client write me an email and then pr creating a spoofed email vishing phishing creating a spoofed email to email me acting like they're the client and the client's like well i only emailed you once well you need to secure your account then because if that wasn't you who the fuck was it and how did they know you were coming to me for a reading that's what you need to check how did they know that you were coming to me for a reading because that email came in talking about i emailed you twice that email came in before i even got the first email the original one so that means somebody's got a spoof of your email i don't know or or something ain't right on your end for with your passwords or your accounts because if somebody writes me and says this is the second email i've sent and i look and i see that both emails were sent at exactly the same time that both came into my inbox at exactly the same time 9 25 a.m on 8 26 2021 and both of them came to two different inboxes and they're t claiming to be the same person and yet the real person is saying, no, but I only emailed you once. That's a problem on your end. That means somebody has spoofed your email or hacked your account. And is finding out what you about to find out. So that means 
I ain't got shit to, that ain't got shit to do with me. But I sent the proof that I got more than one email from somebody pretending to be this person. The point is, what is the necessity in a person even doing that? What is the necessity in, in, in a person even needing to pretend to be somebody else over a, a regular reading? Like, like, what is the purpose in that other than they know that the client is going to find out some real shit in that email and I'm about to tell them what the fuck it is because the client is asking about some sensitive information. And so, unless the client forgot that they emailed me or maybe, I don't know, but I don't think that's what it is. I think this is some, some gang stalking shit. Now, I'm not trying to scare the client or scare none of y'all. I'm just telling you, the majority of y'all are gang stalked and you just don't fucking know it. Especially if you have spiritual gifts and you're a person of color. This is not excluding European di uh, descent people or white people or Caucasian people. But I'm saying women, black women and uh, brown women of color, they are getting the, the short end of the stick on this the most. But... You also have protection where you need it, but you need to be aware. Stop using these weak passwords, okay? Stop giving your email out to everybody. You need to start treating your email like your goddamn phone number, like your address, like your driver's license number. Hell, I'm going to say you need to treat it like it's, your, like it's a secure thing. Now, you need, to, you need to select one or two emails that you use for correspondence depending on how busy you are if you're a big person you got a lot of correspondence you may need more than one but you need to have an encrypted inbox a secure offshore inbox like a proton mail a two to note to or some other service that's offshore and secure that doesn't archive and save your stuff and that has got strict privacy um requirements like a proton mail or you and you need to have a regular like a Gmail or, or a Hotmail or uh, AOL or something like that or iCloud or whatever. But you need to stop giving your email out to all the kind of people because that's how they hack in and then they be sending emails on your behalf and it ain't you. You don't know who the hell they're emailing on your behalf if they're doing that. You don't know who the hell they're contacting on your behalf. You don't know what kind of information they're getting. Nothing is secure anymore. The internet age has been here for a long time. Ain't nothing secure. People can find out anything they want to about you. Anything. Court records, uh, medical records, all of that shit can be hacked. And that's the problem with things being digitized and people not using paper like they used to. Some things I'm never going to put on a device. It's just paper. It's got to be on paper. And some things I'm just never going to put on a device because it's too easy for people to get in it. I told y'all that before. If you're an inventor, you have creative ideas. OK, you got um, proprietary secrets. Like if you have if you're a, a cook or a chef and you have proprietary secrets, you have a family recipe and something that's, you know, very valuable, uh, you know, a patent, a prototype. Don't save that on a digital means. I'm telling you, somebody will steal it. That's how a lot of these jackasses got their invention stolen by Apple and, and Elon Musk and, 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 a, and a lot of others. And some may some may say, well. Nikola Tesla's inventions were on paper and he, his got stolen. Nikola Tesla got taken advantage of by Thomas Edison and them because Nikola Tesla thought being an immigrant that them American motherfucking tycoons was, had his best interests at heart. But no, all they wanted was his fucking mind and his spirit and his intellect and his genius. They ain't, they ain't never, American tycoons have never really fucking respected Eastern European people. Look at what, look at, look at Poland. Serbia. Nikola Tesla was Serbian. Okay, my bloodline goes into those areas too. They don't respect Russia and Russia, man, come on, man. Man, please. Russia got some of the better Russia has more motherfucking genius than any other country other than India and the fucking US. No disrespect to the other nations on the earth, but look at how they act towards Russia though. Russia also has more occult genius, occultic knowledge esoteric knowledge okay you know they always talk about russian hackers no americans do their shit too they do it to each other so one email has been provided i will not provide any other emails for business purposes if you have my email from some other video and you feel comfortable using that 
then you just run the risk of me not checking it very often because there's only one email that I check all the time and that is my business email. The rest of them, I get to them when I get to them. Because they've all been used for gang to, you know, for people gang stalking me and attacking me. So I only go to them when I'm really led. That's not, you know, that's just how it is. That's like my DMs. My DMs were used to bother me too a little bit in my Instagram. So, you know, I get in there when I get in there. Other than that, you know, whatever. If it ain't about, you know, clients and business, I'm not putting a priority on it. Because a lot of people sit up and they watch me and they've been watching me for over a year. Some of them been watching me for two years on various channels. And they've never bought a fucking reading, but they tell me I'm going to get a reading one day. Okay. Well, they'll just be out of luck when them readings are not able to, when they're unaffordable. Because I'm not going to be offering readings like that forever. But see, this is just how it goes. People want to support Tommy Sotomayor and cash up him $3,000 collectively in a, a day. But they don't want to buy a fucking $10, $20 reading from me. So see, when it's that kind of bullshit, I don't answer. Not to be disrespect, but disrespectful, but if it ain't business, you know, time is money, baby. <laughs> if it ain't about business, I don't make a whole lot of time for it. If it ain't about business or soul tribe and my mission, I'm not making a lot of time for it. Black people have a problem and people have a problem supporting black women, black businesses. That's okay. But don't email me talking about I was going to get a reading. That you, Why are you emailing me about that? You might as well keep that to yourself. What it tells me is that uh, you act like I give a fuck about the money. It's not about the money. Okay, but I'm not going to cast my pearls before swine either. So see, I've endured a lot on this platform and I ain't even getting paid for posting the knowledge that I do. But my readings do cost because I'm not going to let karmics and gang stalkers and government agents and, and, and liars and people take advantage of my energy and get their questions answered for free. No, you're going to pay. You're going to pay a premium because I'm going to get compensated for what I go through. And that's just what it is. So see, I watch, how, I watch what people support and they support foolishness a lot. They support a lot of fucking debauchery and fuckery and that's why they're not blessed. And that's why they're not ascending. You know, y'all can make these conscious niggas rich, right? Young Pharaoh allegedly on fucking drugs. You y'all made that nigga rich. But when it comes to a black woman, oh, I was gonna get a read and I've been watching you for a year. Oh well, thank you for watching. But the rest of that shit is pointless. So just be careful with your accounts, change your passwords, get your internet security up. And I'll talk to you later.